Hello and welcome to today's video and if you're new here, welcome to the Amazing Escape Plan channel. I'm Ali Hobart and today we're going to be talking about Amazon Image A-B Test and more specifically, we're going to cover what an A-B Test is, why you should be A-B testing your Amazon images, when and how to create these tests, and finally, quick tips for when you're creating your tests. So don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you do find this video helpful and click on that subscribe button right there on your screen so you never miss any of our future videos. And don't forget to look through our existing videos right here in the channel because there's tons of helpful videos and tutorials so you don't wanna miss out. And without further ado, let's get to it. So first things first, an A-B test, also known as a split test, is when you show different versions of the same element or the same content to separate groups and to see which, which version is best. And ideally, these different groups would share similar characteristics. So they would have similar interests, you know, be the same demographic. So you can really know for that specific audience which version of that content is best. So if you want to test your Amazon images, perhaps you would show one group an image of just your product and another group an image of your product with the packaging on the same image. And then you can see what resonates best with that audience, what really um, would make them click on your product. So that already brings us to why you should be A-B testing. You might think you know the best image to use for your product. You might think you know that this would actually get most people to click. It's this angle with these props. This is definitely the best. But until you test it, you don't really know. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know. Not to mention you as the product owner, you know details and information about your product that someone looking at it for the first time while they're comparing to all of these other competitors they might not know. So what really will resonate with them and make the, them choose your product over your competitors? You really have to create a test to find that out. So the whole point of creating A-B tests is to find this winner image that would convert more customers. So it would get more people to click on your product and then see more details about your product and hopefully buy it. So more sales, more profit. Now, when should you A-B test your images? Well, the easy answer is whenever you can or multiple times a year, but to be more specific, I highly recommend that first you A-B test your image or at least you run tests and surveys, mark your research before you start selling. And the best tool out there, hands down, is Pickful. So through Pickful, you don't exactly create A-B tests or a split tests, but as I mentioned, you can create other types of tests. You can have this market research and select the exact audience that you want to survey and show them image options for them to pick their favorite ones or the ones that resonate best with them. And this is really helpful beforehand because again, you don't really know what would be the best way to display your image or you could be running tests not only for your main image but other images, lifestyle images or maybe an image that you're including in your package. There's all kinds of elements that you can test and research through this specific audience that you choose using PicFu. So one of the ones that I really like to do right before we launch a product is showing them, well, in the creative phase, that's completely different. We, we actually use PicFu for our product development and show them different versions of maybe a design or something like that. You can definitely use PicFu for that. But let's say you already have your product and you're just testing your images. So you can show them maybe multiple image, three, four, five different versions of maybe your main image and ask them to rank from favorite to least favorite, the one that resonates with them the best, 
or the least. You can ask them why, so you can get very detailed answers. And we already have a complete tutorial video about PicFu here on the channel, so I'll make sure to leave the link in the description below. And obviously, you can run different types of tests using PicFu whenever you want, before you start selling, after you start selling. But there is one very important thing that is missing from these types of tests when you're using PicFu, which is the fact that the person reviewing your image and looking at your test, they're not really on Amazon. They're not really very interested potential customers that are comparing your product with your competitors' images, with the reviews, looking at prices, all of that that a real customer will actually be looking at. So the most accurate A-B test that you can get for your Amazon image is by using the Seller Central Manage Your Experiments tool. Now, unfortunately, right now, this tool is only available for registered brands. Not only that, your ASIN needs to be eligible in order for you to run that test. And how is an ASIN eligible? Well, you need to get enough traffic to that ASIN in order for it to become eligible. And they're a little bit vague about what enough traffic means, but they say that depending on the category, it's around dozens of purchases in the last week. That's in general. So once an ASIN becomes eligible, then you're good to go and you can actually run A-B tests for several elements. You can A-B test your title, you can A-B test your A plus content, and you can A-B test your main image. And basically how it works is that you have your current main image and then you upload a version B of your main image, it could be completely different, it's up to you, but you upload the second version and Amazon is going to randomly show version A, your existing, um, your existing main image, and version B to customers whenever they're searching for your product. So half of the, the group would see version A, half of the group will see version B, and then Amazon is going to collect data if people actually clicked on it, if they actually purchased after they click on, for example, version A's um, main image. So after they collect all of this data, they're gonna show it to you and tell you which one has the most likelihood to convert for you. So which one is the best? And to create your experiment, all you have to do is go to your Seller Central account, click on the menu, go to Brands, and select Manage Experiments. From there, click on create new experiments and you're going to see the three options that I mentioned, A plus content, title, and main image. So go ahead and select main image and you're going to see your eligible ASINs. If they're ineligible, it's going to say why they're ineligible. Maybe you already have an experiment running, maybe you don't have enough traffic yet, or you're going to see that they're eligible. Then you can go ahead and select that ASIN and all you have to do is name your experiment. So you could just name it like Hobart's water bottle main image test, whatever you want. So you name your experiment, then you select the duration that you want that experiment to run. It could be four, six, eight, or 10 weeks as of right now. And what we have done, we've selected 10 weeks because as the experiment progresses, you get all of the data already and you can cancel it at any time. So in my opinion, you might as well run for the all 10 weeks and then if you decide to cut it short, you can cancel it and you can already see results before the 10 weeks as well. Then you're going to select your start date and finally you're going to input your hypothesis. So just a quick sentence for you to remember why you thought that maybe version B would be best. You could put as many details as you want. Maybe you are now showing an image that has a packaging and you think, I think version B is better because the packaging will resonate with customers. They might think it's gift ready or whatever it is. 
So you can put as many details as you want and then you upload your image. You're going to see very clearly where to upload and then you can go ahead and save and your experiment is going to be scheduled. And don't worry, if you have variations, as long as they're eligible as well, you're going to see if you keep scrolling down that you have options. You don't have to test all of your variations if you don't want to, but you can. And you can also upload a unique image for each variation, a version B unique image, so you can test all of them if you want. Something else to remember is that Amazon, as I mentioned, they look at the past week and the traffic that you got that last week for all of your ASINs. So if your ASIN is not eligible right now, they might be eligible next week or in a month. So keep checking to see if you get more eligible ASINs for you to run your A-B test. And now some quick tips for when you're creating your A-B tests. First, Try to only test one thing at a time. And that is especially if you plan on running multiple tests. So even though Amazon will collect lots of data, they will tell you how many people clicked on your image, how many people purchased after seeing that image. They won't really tell you why, why they actually clicked on version A versus version B or why that one is resonating best with your audience. And the way that you can start understanding why one version is resonating better than the other is if you actually test one thing at a time. So if currently you have just your product with no props, then maybe consider adding props and that's it. Don't add props and add your packaging, two things at the same time, because you won't know that if the reason why they're doing this, why let's say the new version is better is because of the props or the package or both, you never know. But maybe consider um, doing several experiments. And in the first one, you add the props. In the second one, you add the package. Or maybe the second one, you still don't have the props, but you have the package. And maybe the third one, you have both. So this is especially helpful when you are creating pick full tests. So with Amazon main images, perhaps you just want to go ahead and you know, like test something that is completely different, which is extremely valid. And we're going to talk about that very soon. But specifically with PicFu, if you want to test, for example, five different versions of your main image, even though you can ask your audience why they pick one over the other, sometimes they don't really know exactly why. They might try to come up with a reason, but you know, like the psychological part of liking one more than the other, they might not be able to put those into words. So if you have five images that are completely different, one has lots of props, the other one is a different color, the other one's a completely different angle, or the other one has a person, there's so many variables that maybe it would be really helpful for you to understand, I believe, so you can actually implement this with your other products or in future product launches. So consider testing just one thing at a time. The second tip I've already mentioned a couple of times here throughout the video, which is to try to include your product packaging on the main image. And obviously that is especially for people who have beautiful packaging or at least some sort of packaging that it's not like a poly bag or it's not something you know very cheap so for some reason packages resonate really well with the majority of the audiences especially if your product if they're buying your product as a gift so consider testing your product without and with the packaging on the image the third tip is to try a pattern disruption so you should already be doing this, but you should go on Amazon, specifically on like an incognito tab where you know it doesn't have all of your cookies saved and all of your recent searches. So open a new tab on Amazon, be logged out of everything and type your main keywords. See all of the results that you get and analyze your competitors' main images. After you analyze everything, Think to yourself, okay, what would actually really, really catch the eye of someone who's looking at all of these results at the same time? There's so much going on. There's sponsored video ads. There's all these 
different types of ads jumping on people's faces and perhaps a lot of times there's kind of like a pattern for example if it's um, a, a, a face cream let's say the, the majority of the competitors have the front you know like the front angle with the lid sitting right next to it so think about how can you disrupt this pattern how you can get someone who's scrolling through all of those results to stop and really look at your image this is actually where your main image is supposed to do they're supposed to just click on your listing you don't need to give them all of this information through your main image you just need to get them to click and once they're inside your listing then you're going to talk about all of the benefits and features and everything that your product has to offer but how can you disrupt that pattern so maybe you have your eye your facial cream floating and there's i don't know like a, a fresh orange let's say it's an orange scent on your product and maybe you have a fresh orange next to it and that color really pops so really think about that perhaps it's a completely different angle as i said or you include the package or you have some sort of prop you have a, a hand of someone holding it anything like that and last but not least it's something that i've already mentioned here as well which is to run multiple tests and that's because not only you get to test different things so maybe you run multiple tests uh, testing different aspects of your main image but it's also important to consider the time of year so a lot of times something did really well during a certain season but during another season maybe maybe perhaps the lowest season of your product or perhaps during the holidays if it's something gift related you know you can do a different type of main image to resonate with the audience for for the holidays best so always have that in mind to run multiple tests not only through Amazon especially if you're not brand registered yet make have that in mind to run different tests using tools such as PicFu and always improving always trying to understand your audience better that will give you the most insight and that will not only help you with your current product but as I mentioned in future product launches as well and you never know maybe during your a b test you might realize that you can launch a variation of this product you might see that something sells really well but maybe if you add an option of a gift package as a separate variation maybe you get a lot of people interested as well there's all sorts of insights and ideas that you can get by running your amazon image a b tests and that's it i do hope that you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss videos just like this a lot of really helpful videos that come here weekly and as always thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in future videos